Hello, in this video I would like to show you 8 ways of using Google Drive with a textbook in your classroom. Number 1. Use it for revision questions. Just revise the previous unit. You can easily animate text by going to View Animations and then you simply click into the text box Add an animation by paragraph and each paragraph is animated separately. Number two, sometimes you might want to project a part of the textbook onto the board. Just snap a picture with your tablet or smartphone and upload it to your drive. You can easily insert the photo. Just go to Insert, Image, and then choose Recent, and you get Most Recent Files. Just select the image and insert it into your slide. Number three, you can redo an exercise from the textbook. Just follow the steps from the previous example and cover the solutions with a shape or crop the image before you upload it. Number four, you can use it as a whiteboard to illustrate a vocabulary, for example, in this case, a pharmacy or a sore throat with a clip art. Number five, you can use it for listening comprehensions. I also upload my audio files for the textbook and link it via an icon. Unit 8A, exercise six. You can directly link to any file if it's in a public folder. So you have to make the folder public first. It has to be public on the web. Then you click on the file, information, details, and here you get the direct link. Unit 8A. And then I can animate in the answers. Number six, solutions for the students to check. Sometimes you just don't want to write everything on the board, but you just want to give the students the solutions from the teacher's book. I've got a digital copy of teacher's book in my drive. I simply cut out the solution with the Snagit extension for Chrome browser. And it automatically saves it to my drive. Then again, I go to insert image, the most recent ones. And here it is. The solution for my students to check. Number seven, enrich the textbook with multimedia sources from the web. Insert video search for Ted sugar here we are and finally share the slides with your students and of course you can reuse them the next time you teach the same topic i hope you enjoyed the video